probability calculations. Now we have a formula for this which just says probability of event equals number of favorable outcomes over, over total number of outcomes. I really don't use the formula. I think it's quite easy to do these just using a bit of common sense. Okay, so if we look at example one, a bag contains three blue and five white marbles. And then we're going to calculate the probabilities below. What we'll do is probably the first thing I'm going to mention that's important here is to go, well, if I've got three blue and five white marbles, I've got a total of eight marbles. And, and that's quite important here. All right. So what we're going to say, what's the probability of getting a blue marble? Using correct terminology, we're going to go P bracket blue. Okay. And that's basically saying the probability of getting a blue marble equals. And that's when you look at the um, formula, you can see that P stands for probability and the event is that we get a blue marble. And then we're going to draw, this is called a vinculum line, the line that we use on a fraction. And above, we're going to put the number of favorable outcomes, which just basically means how many blue marbles can we possibly get? Well, there's five of them. And then down below, the total number of outcomes is eight marbles in total, so eight at the bottom. Okay, so question B, we're calculating the probability of getting a white marble. All right, so without really thinking of the formula, at the top, we're just putting how many white marbles there are. There's three. And down the bottom, we're putting the total. There's eight marbles altogether. 